Hey guys, today I'm going to be up unboxing Talk of the North, a uh, Hornby Railroad model. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the box came in this bubble wrap. And um, I, I literally just got this, by the way. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow, what a locomotive. Look at this. A full top in off. 282. Plus a linear tender. Now, we should gently raise the box. We should gently open the box and do it out. And now. Right, let's put this plastic out of the way. Okay, and now we should gently just push the point out. This thing got to be very, very careful. Okay. Okay. There she is. Right. So. Okay. So this is the locomotive, and I say, what a stunning machine this is. I mean, look at all this detail, handrails, a double smoke box. Inside the cab, not much paintwork. And I mean, <coughs> look at the wheels, sir. They have got this flange, this one at the back, as you can see. This is the hump of their own curves. Anyway, this machine here has got its own separately here. Like brake, brake thing underneath. It's got, mm, look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look Look at all this, like, rod works. Clock the North, number 2001. If you don't know, that's the year I was born, by the way. Okay, like, number 2001. Absolutely glorious look to the front. Now, if you, uh... If you know a thing about this locomotive, you would know that it was later changed into something that looked a little like this. This is the Flying Scotsman. It was changed into something that looked a little like it. Called a Thompson Pacific. <laughs> this is the 282 Cockney North locomotive. It's got all of these steam rounds, all these relics, all this very, very nice looking stuff. It did of course come with a thing. Which, as we know, it's very nice I like my kids. Like how to tune and stuff. It's amazing. Like lubrication, accessories, body removal, assembly, clothes cuffing, sound DCC. And on the other side, it's got two T class, two eight two steam locomotives and tenders, DCC ready, DCC fitted, sound operating, and maintenance instructions. I unfortunately don't have a DCC controller, so I cannot actually hear the sound. Important. This locomotive is exact on the fine scale standards and therefore the machine incorporates small ducts of the top piece and front and the top piece and front. So, read through the operating and maintenance instructions on this leaflet. Okay, can I say it is a slightly darker shade of green than the uh, trying flying spot right here. It does look absolutely amazing though. I mean, look at it. Gold lettering, I mean gold numbering, and gold nameplate. Look at the customers. And now let's move on to the tender. Okay, so the tender is very nice. And then the up. Gold. The coal load. The coal load is good, very good. And there's like the water bit here, we can fill it with water. Like the buffers, unfortunately, are not sprung, but I'm not complaining. It's an absolutely amazing model, by the looks of it. 
and here's the uh, front of the tender which connects to the cab of the locomotive. As you can see, there's a pole coming out here. I mean, the wheels, as again, all eight of them. It looks amazing. The coupling is thin, good for realistic layouts. Unfortunately, I don't see any front coupler. Never mind, though. We can just get one. can get one fitted. Okay. So, as you can see, we've got some accessories. Here's the other couple left for the front. We've got um, some more gearing and stuff in there, I think. I don't know. And we've got. Like, this is. My head. Really? Really? Is. And now, let's see what she'd like to run, okay? Well, we're going to put her on the tracks. We'll be back with you in a second. So, as you can see, she's on the track now. And what we're going to do is we're going to couple her up to this train here. And let me just show you how smooth she runs. Look at that excellent low speed performance. That is just amazing. I've not seen that in quite a while. And the same thing going forwards. And now, let's go on to the more interesting thing. Right, we're going to couple up to that train over there. It's just going around. She's going around the tracks right now. Unfortunately, the gap between the uh, tender and the locomotive is has to be that kind of size because if it wasn't then um, she would have a few difficulties going around curves which would not be good. Okay, this is one of the uh, stronger locomotives in British history pulling uh, uh, about 23 wagons or cars or passenger carriages with um, each round or good. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to put tons of passenger cars on there. Be back in a second, okay guys? Okay guys, we're back. We've got a whole rake of cars on there. Right, so, let's see what this brute, and I mean that in the nicest way possible, and that's a compliment because it's, it's so strong. Let's see what it can do. Come on. That's nice, nice speed performance. Now, this is actually meant to be an express locomotive. So we shall do some expressing later on. And by that I mean going fast, not expressing. And look at like, how long the train is she's pulling. She's pulling nearly a whole lap of the track. Right, now we're going to take her up to some speed. Oh, this is a really nice feature. She's got the realistic starting and stopping, like the tornado model does. Anyway, look at her go. Just look at her go. It's amazing. It's one of the, it's one of the best looking I've ever seen in a long time. Wait, do you want to see how fast this is on the controller? Do you want to know what this is on the controller? This is about four bars on the controller. Take off the six. Let's go up. Actually, I'm worried about this carriage in the middle. Tell you what. Not helpful. Alright. Alright. Okay, so this has been an absolutely outstanding. Standing model. The detail is excellent, but unfortunately, this, de uh, this distance between the cab and tender is necessary to go around the curves. It's not exactly the best for sharp curves, I must say, but it is one of the best models I've actually seen in a long time. And I hope that many more people will buy one, because it is an absolutely amazing class. The P2 class. <laughs> well done, Formby, for releasing such a brilliant model. I tell you, this is an absolutely amazing one. One way to start off the series. Anyway, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Neon Tube, out. Oh, next time we're going to be reviewing something better. Well, something
something more interesting. Or something interesting. I mean, this is certainly a, a very interesting thing. I mean, this thing is always rubbing us up. Okay. Flying, flying, scuffle. Okay, goodbye. I'm glad I knew that, but that doesn't work. Alright, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you out. Goodbye.